Welcome, let's solve the next 25 questions for GS paper 1. The very first question for this set talks about uh, some statements about mushroom. Now interestingly, mushroom has various properties which ranges from medicinal property, psycho, uh, psychoactive drugs, insecticidal property as well as bioluminescent property. So all of these statements are correct. There are various species of mushrooms which have insecticidal property or medicinal property. The others have psychoactive properties or uh, basically they are used as uh, uh, bioluminescence. Uh, also there are some species which are used for uh, which are toxic in nature. So there are different species of mushrooms used differently. So all would be a right answer here. Now Indian squirrel lives on trees not on ground. It stores the food material in nuts and seeds and that's uh, that's again not on the ground but on the tree tops. so it's again incorrect and they are herbivorous. So all of these statements are incorrect. So which is correct? None of these. Now coming on next is the following statements. Some microorganisms can grow in environment with a temperature about boiling point incorrect but they can grow below freezing point and in a highly acidic atmosphere of pH less than 3. So the ones which grow below freezing point are known as psychophrils. Okay, and then they have others which can grow at a temperature at a acidic level of less than three. So B, uh, two and three are the correct options. So only two becomes the answer here. Coming on to the next question, a tool with a stick to scrape in insects from a hole in a tree or a wood is used by orangutan. So a very uh, basic question. So orangutan uses this stick for variety of purposes. For example, fishing for the net or in, uh, for the insects, digging for the food or building the nest, gathering the food. So it is, uh, since orangutan, we can say is very closer to human beings. It has that basic skill or the inside concept that we study in psychology. So here orangutan is the correct answer uh, the next is so uh, again uh, one very important thing is orangutan would usually have a right size of the stick that it wants to use neither too big nor too small so again interesting now hydrofluorocarbons are used as aerosols as fire retardants as foam agents for blowing uh, purpose and as well as lubricants so all of these are correct option they are also used as propellants uh, because in the aerosol industries they uh, as aerosols they are also used as propellants to push the the aerosol out of the can okay so all these four are the correct options here coming on next Zelam river passes through Vula lake that's correct Krishna river feeds to Koleru, uh, Koleru lake again correct and Gandak forms Kanwar lake by uh, the meandering of the Gandak forms the Kanwar lake. So again this Kanwar lake is located in Begusarai in Bihar and this is because of the meandering process of the Gandak river that takes place. So all the statements are correct. A very basic question from the geography section. So if you have covered your NCRTs, Indian, uh, Indian geography carefully, these are some of the questions that you can directly answer. The next is which of the following pairs are correctly matched now note mudra mudra is the india's first private port and it is one of the largest container ports but it is not the largest privately owned port uh, in the container category it one of the largest right so this cannot be the correct option then we have Kam, uh, karamraj port this is the first major port registered as a company that's true and this is the 12th major port uh, in general and it is corporatized largest container port is neva shiva in mumbai so again three is in correct so only one pair stands correct here the next question is among the following which are deciduous so jackfruit is an evergreen mahua is a deciduous and teak is again a deciduous plant right so both of these are deciduous so two pairs are deciduous and jackfruit is an evergreen plant the next question is india has more arable land than china that's correct uh, then the proportion of irrigated land in China is more as compared to India. So this is incorrect. The average productivity in China is higher than India. So again incorrect. So only one pair is correct. Despite higher arable land, our proportion of irrigated land and productivity is relatively less in China. The next is 
भक्तिया कनिका मैंग्रूव आर द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ विच बिकॉज ऑफ देर लाइक दे आर क्रिएटेड बिकॉज ऑफ द फॉल इन द सी लेवल्स एंड दे आर नाउ अ मार्श लैंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द स्टडीज विच हैज बीन डन एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ मैंग्रूव एंड द सी लेवल चेंजेस द इम्पैक्ट हैज बीन सीन एट नाइल एमेजॉन गंगा रिवर Yangtze and Mississippi, some of the major rivers, and from here, Bhattiyar Kanika is one of the classic examples to cite. The next is ilmenite and rut uh, rutile are the examples of titanium. So they are the oxides of titanium. FeO, TiO2, and TiO2 is ru uh, rutile. So this is the ilmenite and rutile. So the, the the answer is titanium here. The next is three fourth of the world's cobalt, which is used for electric motor vehicles, is found in Democratic Republic of Congo, which is one of the major producers as in 2022. The next question: uh, Which of the following is part of Congo Basin? So Cameroon. Uh, then we have Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, Republic of Congo, Central African Republic as some of the major regions which are part of the Congo Basin. So here. Among these, uh, Cameroon is the right answer, and from the GC Liang, we have covered this section carefully. So just go through that. Now, uh, Amar Kandak is at the confluence of Vindhyas and Sayadri, Satpuras, which is correct. Okay, so uh, Amar Kandak at the confluence of Vindhya and Satpura, not Sayadri. Okay, so this is incorrect. Uh, Bilingraj is uh, Biligri uh, Rangan Hills. is situated at the southern parts of satpura okay so uh, in the parts of maharashtra they are located and shesha chelam hills are located in the eastern ghats not the western ghats so all three of them are incorrect so none of them is correct the next question is coming on to the connectivity east west corridor under golden quadrilateral connects silchar to porbandar so this is incorrect Trilateral highway connects Mori and Manipur, but it connects the Mare South in Thailand. Uh, so again, this is incorrect. Bangladesh, China, India, Myanmar economic corridor connects uh, various regions, but not Varanasi. It connects in India, Guwahati, Kolkata, and Chennai. So again, three is incorrect. So none of these is a correct option. Coming on next is there are few statements. The interest income from the deposits in, in Infrastructure Investment Trust distributed to their investors is exempted from tax, tax, but the dividend is taxable. That's completely correct. And this is the interest earned, or uh, this is the income earned on the interest payments on the deposits that they have raised from the investors. And these are recognized as borrowers under the Self Raising Two Thousand Two. So both the statements are correct, and it's the correct explanation for statement one. The next question is. The post-pandemic recent years have seen that the central banks worldwide have hiked the interest rate. That's correct. The central banks assume that they have an ability to counteract the rising consumer price via changes in monetary policy. So that's again correct. So both of them are correct, and it's the correct explanation. The next question is. Carbon markets are likely to be one of the most important tools to fight climate change. That's correct because it's one of the ways markets are designed designed to reduce the greenhouse global emissions. But they are not uh, transferred from private to the state. So one is correct, two is incorrect here. The next question is. Uh, among the activities of RBI, uh, sterilization is basically a process through which uh, there is a, the Sale or the purchase of foreign assets that is required, and that is to check the excess money supply. Withdrawal is taking place, and this is known as sterilization. So it is conducted as a part of open market uh, uh, operations. Very very important, and nowadays it has become extremely important because when you have high volumes of foreign exchange, uh, that generates higher capital inflow, leading to discouraging of imports and encouraging of exports now when you have encouraging of exports rbi buys the foreign exchange or the foreign currency and that's one of the reasons why you have to check the excess money supply which is present in the market the next is among the following which is not in which are included in the capital market right so call money market is not included government bonds treasury bills and stock markets are all part of capital market so treasury bills are basically what is the us bonds in 
uh the uh, the united states what we call as a government bond so those are considered as a treasury bills so one three and four are the options so three pairs are correct here coming on to the next question which of the following describes small farmer large field so here many small farmers or marginal farmers come together in group and they have a similar operational purpose or a similar agricultural operation that takes place now this is a relatively new concept which started in india indonesia and philippines and has been important in increasing the productivity because very small size of the farm actually hinders the productivity level and therefore b becomes the right option a very important technique that has been recently introduced the next is which of the following statements are correct so government provides minimum support to niger seeds that's correct niger is one of the 14 major kharif crops that's again correct and tribal populations use niger for cooking now here some is mentioned but when we say some it, in respect to the whole world population we are saying uh, some tribal population then it's correct okay uh, but it's basically the tribals use niger for cooking so here one two and three all of these are the correct options but uh, tribals actually use uh, niger seed for cooking they use press cake for uh, uh, livestock feed and then uh, it also has some medicinal properties for which it is used. Now, intangible investments are those which cannot be visualized. Uh, visualized investment could be an inventory. But when I'm talking about brand, let's say you talk about examples as a brand. So you cannot see it visualize it but it is intangible so intangible is not physical in nature goodwill brand intellectual property or a customer list which is the mailing list is an example of um, intangible investment so one three and four are the correct options here coming next is uh, factors which are important as per the 15th finance commission so under 15th finance commission we have demographic performance around 12.5 percent forest and ecology accounting to 10 percent uh, then we have tax uh, which accounts for 2.5 percent or the tax efforts accounting for 2.5 percent area accounting for uh, 15 percent population accounting for 15 percent income distribution accounting for 45 percent so that's the criteria so out of these we have three as the part of the 15 finance commission uh, among the criteria uh, which are given the next is under the unops sustainable investments in infrastructure and innovation the focus is, is on affordable housing healthcare renewable energy then we have education uh, as another important aspect but transport is not part of it so among the given choices three of those are the correct answer for this question so here we have solved uh, the next set of 25 questions we will be coming up with the next few sets for uh, gs paper one and c set in the coming lectures so stay tuned have a wonderful day